My name's Emma McLean. I'm the Digital Marketing Officer here at Royal Museums Greenwich. I'm Lucinda Blazer. I'm a Digital Project Manager here at the National Maritime Museum. I've been dealing with Flickr since day one for museums. I think it was about 2008. So we've been right on Flickr Commons from the start. Um, and I've been doing a lot of work around um, getting our historic photographs collections online which have um, very little information available about them so we thought well we'll get them up on Flickr and get the public helping us catalogue them and commenting on them and, you know improve our data quality. Flickr Commons had started We'd seen the Library of Congress go up there and the reaction that they had there to collect their collections. Um, Jane and I worked on putting together a proposal to go to the senior members of the museum to say that we want to do a community engagement project. We realised for many reasons that Flickr was a great platform for us to run a competition of this scale um, on because it can host a multitude of images and images that are available in a social capacity where you've got commenting, you've got favouriting, you've got sharing options that our website just simply didn't have the capacity to do. We analysed other platforms that use photography um, so we knew we wanted something that has a community, um, something where people can communicate with each other so we looked at lots of other platforms. We knew that it was a strong tool, we knew that they had robust systems in place, we knew they weren't going to lose the data um, so we knew it was a tool that could be trusted and something that had much more power than our own website would have to host those sorts of images. I think the key point for us that has changed the way we approach Flickr was the museum decided it wanted to be more conversational with its audience but we've noticed that it's gone beyond that into the general specialist communities, the ship fanciers, the you know the cruising people for which are we have a strong collection of those, you know, people who like lighthouses and like boys who like ships. By having them on Flickr it does make our images more searchable on yep. Google and such things like that so that people are stumbling across it more than they would if we had it on our own collection site, which is what we really want. It was about engaging with our Flickr audiences um, to curate a selection of images in the Compass Lounge, which is a space we use for co-curation projects within the museum. It's a public display, a very small display, um, and we wanted to get people who have been engaging with us online through Flickr to come and do a physical display in the gallery using images that they liked on Flickr our, of our collection. With these, we um, had word clouds, very much similar to the tag clouds that you have on Flickr because that's what the group chose and it was quite nice to map that over from something that happens online to something in the gallery um, and then link through to Flickr as well. In terms of working with Flickr, um, I found it quite difficult because their analytics that are built in are really, really limited. I have targets, usually quite numerical, to hit whether it's visitor numbers or whether it's return on investment, in budget, in data capture and whatever it might be. So we really decided to take a first step by putting a small number of historic photographs online uh, month by month probably around 20 and then seeing how people responded as a result. I don't think you need a big budget or anything like that for it but I do think you need to c consider kind of the, from the audience perspective how you can best um, kind of empower them to put that display on. It's really important to set out right from the beginning those criteria, those measures of success and what you see as success. 